Well, here we go, Epic Seven. It took all day. But they finally killed the Wardens. And the final Prongo on floor number three is up. And when I say final Prongo, I mean the final one that drops gear. So I'm going to see how much damage I can do to this guy. I have shifted my relics around so that I have got increases Tundra's Blessing by one if I use three different classes and increases Tundra's Blessing by two if I've used an object. Well, I've recently used an object. So now I can load up some damage. So here's my Tundra's Blessing at two and my warrior or in my uh, light elemental classes are already maxed out at 10. So this should give me the best possible damage. We use Ambitious Tywin for our first class. So that's one knight. I'm going to go ahead and use Landy. I know that's two knights, but I can get Camilla on the team for a warrior. And then I'll use Auden as a thief. That gives me three classes, and that should change the Tundra's Blessing to three, increasing my damage by 50%. Um, Auden, I'm going to run sort of cycling season for maximum damage my camilla i've got on benny mars tachi ambitious tywin as surprising as it seems i'm going to run him on our beautiful seasons because he does a surprising amount of damage and landy because every attack is aoe this gives me a really good chance to proc counters and hopefully salvos so that will be an Elbrus IV Navy Captain Landy. Okay, let's see how this works. Fire it up, turn off auto, good, good to go. Okay, Tywin is first, so... I'll go ahead to S3, we'll see if we can get a defense break off. Good solid damage, we got the defense break. I'm going to S2 just to give the attack buff to Auden. And hopefully with this odd dual attack we get buff block. Got it. That'll keep him from giving himself attack buff. And that's pretty huge. Um, I'll go ahead and drop the S3 because uh, it's a dark hero and that will reduce her cooldowns. And heck, I mean, this is really good damage. Okay, can we get a salvo? Ah, oh, come on, Landy. Go ahead and swap this in for a extra 50k damage. Dual attack, nice. Give me a salvo, Landy. Oh, Landy, you're killing me. No salvos and no, uh, what do we call it? No, um, no Elbrus procs. Okay, this is where he's going to transfer debuffs back. So I don't want to hit Prongo because I could put buff block on him. And then when Camilla gives defense break, that's two debuffs and time can only end a one. So I'm going to hit the crystal with this attack. Swat, Ty or swat with Tywin. Can we get a salvo? Nice. And thankfully, I did not get a buff block on. Oh my god, I'm going to get a buff block here, aren't I? Mm. I'll just raw S1. Maybe we don't defense break. Nice. He resisted the buff block anyway. That's tragic. I think... One good salvo, that crystal should heal us up. Nice dual attack, thank you for that. Oh, we'll just throw the boat, that'll get us, uh, that'll get, that'll kill the crystal and heal us all back up. Let's get the attack buff on Auden and burn for a two turn defense break. Nice. And now we get a salvo. <laughs> okay. 
There's one hit. There's two hit. Elbrus paying off. Hit again. Three hits. Four hits. Landy's got the attack buff, so we dual attack with Landy. Um... I'm just going to S1 this round. Save his... Ah, you know what? There's no reason. Let's just S3. We'll hurt the crystal. We'll do good damage. We'll extend this to a two-turn defense bike, or we won't because that just happens. Smack. I think the boat does the most damage, so we'll throw the boat. Nice. The buff block should prevent him from getting the gab. Nice. Burn, get defense break back up. Smack. Everybody gold shields again. May as well burn Landy. Oh my god, it killed my Auden. That's so lame. He hit Auden twice. Oh well. That's gonna hurt our damage total. May as well attack buff Landy, I guess. Throw the boat, get everybody healed. A salvo. Ah, oh. one more big salvo, Landy. Yeah, good job, good job, guys. Five point one million, and my Auden died. <laughs> this relic stacking is amazing. Holy crap, that was so good. I think we're gonna do it again. So we'll just use this statue here, and we will bring Landy. Camilla, Taiwan, wrong, Landy, <laughs> that was close, and Auden. Double checking, yep, that's who we bring back. Man, if I brought back Green Landy, I'd have lost my damn mind. Okay, and because we used the statue, that gave us our Tundra's Blessing from the Relic. So we can do this whole fight again. So, Camilla. So, Camilla. Hywin. Auden. Landy. Okay, let's run it again. We got the triple Tundra's Blessing for 50% increased attack. Confirm. Okay, Taiwan first. Can we get a defense break? Nice. We'll go ahead and attack buff up our Auden. Dual attack, buff block please, nice. Go ahead and drop this shield up. Because of the buff block, he won't get attack buff. Evasion working, Elbrus working. Um, I'm gonna burn it. This should hurt the crystal, doesn't quite kill it, but will be good to heal up after the next hit. Smack for 58k damage. Dual attack, healing up our Auden. The 
that will kill the crystal, healing everybody up. Hit again. Can I salvo again? Nope. We'll throw the boat for really big damage. I'm going to burn this so it'll be a two turn defense break instead of a one turn. Nice. Oh, that's right. He throws it back. So that was kind of a wasted burn. Oh, well. Um, buff block. Let's see. We will get the attack buff on Auden. Oh, no. It went to Landy instead of Auden. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, well, it is what it is. And no defense break either. Unfortunate. Salvo. Give me some salvos. Come on, Landy. You're killing me. Salvo. Okay, so that's one hit. Two hits. Three, four. We'll do this to get defense break back so we can start doing more damage. going to burn this for the 100% chance buff block because it's really important he doesn't get gab actually I'm going to risk it I'm going to risk it so that I can I can burn Camilla wait does Camilla have her s2 ready she doesn't, so, and she won't get Benny Mars Tachi because of the seal, because that won't proc. Yeah, I, I'm going to burn this. There we go. Throw the boat. Actually, I should have just asked one for the uh, chance at Salvo, but I think we're in really good shape for hitting this eight times. Show me defense break. Oh, come on. You're killing me with no defense breaks. Okay, so... We're out of danger from damage. If I hit this for the heal, I'm going to save the crystal. We'll heal next round. Ow! Okay. Gold shield up. I really, 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 really need a defense break. Gonna burn this for the heal. Okay, attack buff the Auden. Please show me a defense break. Nice! Camilla being stunned is a little unfortunate. Oh, it's Taiwan who's stunned. That's not so bad. Boom, boom. Come on, one more hit. One more hit. 10 million in two runs. Hey, with a salvo on the end. Icing on the cake. That was 5.1 million both entries, which makes sense. We use the same team twice. But uh, yeah, take a look at that, guys. In two entries... Over half of his hit, over half of his health. Fantastic run. Okay, guys, I think this guy will be dead tomorrow. Heck, he'll be dead later on tonight. Just need a couple more hits, and we are good to go. And I'll be ready in the morning to hit the next Prongo when he shows back up in this same spot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it shows you the insane power of stacking Broken Arrow 
and Snakehead figurine when you already have level 10. So if you guys did the smart thing, you went ahead and picked up Victorious Flag and Ancient Shield, it's time to wander around, hit the different relic locations and trade those out for these two relics. If you're able to stack them together, you can do spectacular damage. Hope this guy hope this guide helps you guys out. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great one everybody.